Greetings and welcome. Welcome to the Gadget 360 show. I hope all of you are being safe. I know there's a lot of doom and gloom. There only seems to be bad news, which is why we are all trying to put in this effort to actually bring you something that takes you away a little, maybe for a very, very short time. But I hope some of the stuff that we do on the show actually helps you to take you away from all the bad news, the doom and gloom, all the losses, all the kind of things that you're hearing all day. I really hope all of you are safe. You're keeping your elders, everybody else in the family, including the children, very very safe now let's get started with what we have on the show today so I'm going to show you something that we don't usually do but we'll try and do a lot more because there is a huge demand from all of you and that is a home appliance this is from Lieber a German giant in innovation and technology and they have one of the most premium refrigerators we've ever had on the show then we'll move on to this the Moto G60 and the Moto G40 Fusion now Motorola seems to have set their mind that they're going to shake up the under 20,000 and under 15,000 rupee market they are competing with companies like Xiaomi, Poco, Realme. Can they do it? Well, I think they can. Then we move on to some open world games. I mean, we are all stuck inside. We all need something to take our minds away. So we'll tell you a little bit more about those games. Let's get started first with, of course, all the news coming in from the world of gadgets and gizmos. Apple has launched iOS 14.5 for iPhone users and it comes with a feature called app tracking transparency that's been mired with controversy. This feature gives iPhone users the right to restrict apps on their phones from tracking them. Once updated to iOS 14.5, iPhone users can enable the option in the privacy settings. Doing this will prevent apps like Facebook to track users and show personalized ads. Our top story today is a very, very interesting one. Like I said, we don't usually do home appliances much on the show, but we should be because there's so much of demand from all of you. Today, we're going to go into and talk about a particular company, Liebherr. We'll tell you a little bit about the company. It's a German giant. It's been in the refrigeration and other categories around refrigeration for a very, very long time worldwide. It's you know universally known as a top-of-the-line brand. Now, they are here in India doing some very, very good stuff, including some super premium stuff. I'm going to show you a refrigerator that is absolutely top of the line. Now, this is a side-by-side. -side. Actually, it's even shipped as two different units. Then you put them together. Some fantastic technology, not just great looking, but, you know, the way the German engineering and the German technology and the electronics, the sensors, the fact that you can have, you know, different kind of cooling areas, separate for vegetables, separate for meat, separate for other areas. It's a very well put together product. Let's take a look at this very brand new premium refrigerator from Lieber. The Indian domestic appliances landscape is about to go through a major change. Liebherr, the premium German appliances brand has arrived and is about to change things. Why are we so excited? Well, it's because Liebherr is an innovation and technology specialist with a great reputation world over. Bringing in German engineering and technology, Liebherr has been in the business for over 65 years now. Channeling their energy into making some of the best refrigeration technology, Liebherr over the years has earned the tag of preservation experts. Committed to bringing their coveted German engineering to India by designing products made for the country, Liebherr has invested 500 crore for setting up their manufacturing unit in Aurangabad in Maharashtra. The brand's commitment to the market can be further solidified by the network of 70 service partners that they have already established in such a short span of time. But it's the detailing they put into their products that makes them stand apart. To give you a taste of classic German engineering and attention to detail, we are reviewing their flagship refrigerator today. The SBSES 8486 Premium Plus, a modern marvel in terms of refrigeration technology, this fridge is part of Liebherr's well-reputed Biofresh No Frost lineup. One of the most premium appliances to enter our studio, this side-by-side -side refrigerator by Liebherr looks great in its smart steel finish. Liebherr has made some conscious efforts to break away from traditional designs that we usually get to see in the market, like the transparent door panel for the bottle shelf. This elegant design also comes with a fair share of practical features. For instance, the fridge is delivered as two separate units which makes the installation process easier. The door panel on the fridge comes with an integrated opening mechanism which makes it really easy to open the fridge. A subtle touch but important when we're dealing with an appliance of this size. 
While this feature comes to the rescue when we open this fridge, there is a soft system mechanism when we close it. This unique mechanism cushions the door closure even when door shelves might be completely stacked. Liebherr provides a super responsive touch control panel on the 8486 with which a user can access all the features of this refrigerator. We get a similar touch capacitive panel on the freezer side as well. While the fridge managed to impress us with its aesthetics and practical design, our experience only got better when we pulled open the doors. An enormous cabin for storing all of our favorite foods and beverages. This is not surprising since this fridge is built on Liebherr's proprietary Blue Performance platform. The interior of the fridge is not only humongous, but it is also really well designed. There is an integrated rear wall lighting setup in the fridge which looks great and provides optimal illumination for the compartments. Another signature touch that caught our eye this time it was the bottle shelves which come in a wood finish. Elegantly placed, these shelves can also fold down like a step on a staircase. A little lower is the unique ice maker that comes with a fixed water connection which means that your ice tray will never run out. Now onto the technology that has been packed into the fridge, starting with the BioFresh Plus feature. Loaded up with separate electronics and sensors, the BioFresh Plus provides flexibility since a user can customize the cooling for individual compartments. Six different temperature zones can be maintained. This feature is most prominent when we interact with the top compartment of the refrigerator for which the temperature can be lowered down to minus 2 degrees Celsius. BioFresh drawers offer a carefully maintained temperature of just above 0 degrees Celsius which is far lower than normal refrigerator compartments. But that's not it when it comes to the refrigeration prowess of the 8486. Adding on to the customization characteristic of the fridge, we also get the duo cooling feature on board. With two separately adjustable cooling circuits, a user can customize the temperatures for both the fridge and the freezer compartments. Also, the wine compartment on board is truly unique since it has two independently controlled zones for storing wines at desired temperatures ranging from 5 degrees to 20 degrees. Apart from just keeping our food fresh and healthy, this refrigerator also cools down freshly stored food at an accelerated pace. This cooling process is expedited by the inbuilt power cooling system which ensures even temperatures throughout the cabin. Another highlight of this unique refrigerator is its super frost feature. Using this technology, the fridge generates cold reserves that freezes freshly stored food rapidly which preserves the essential vitamins. There is no box that this ultra premium refrigerator leaves unchecked. It looks great, delivers an unprecedented cooling capacity and preserves our food while retaining its essential nutrients. Carrying a premium price tag, this might not be a refrigerator for everyone. But if you are looking for a top-of-the-line premium refrigerator with excellent engineering, top-of-the-line technology and incredible good looks, there may be nothing better in the market right now. Time now to move on to our next top story and this is two phones together, the Motorola G60 and the Motorola G40 Fusion. Now I have to tell you, of late Motorola seems to be very very aggressive but this aggressive I had not thought. You know who they are taking on? They are taking on Xiaomi with their brands Mi and Redmi, they are taking on Poco, they are taking on Realme, they are taking on anybody that claims to be the king of the under 20 and under 15,000 rupee market. Now it's tough actually to take a call on the fact that you are going to actually displace these super kings because what do Xiaomi, Realme, Poco all do? What they do is they come up with a very aggressive phone at a very aggressive price, give you fantastic hardware and it makes it almost impossible for anybody else to compete because they are also playing the game of adware, bloatware, you know apps that they have already put in out there. Now Motorola doesn't do that. So they have got the cleanest software and UI ever. I mean it is almost as good as stock Android. Just a few additions of good Moto stuff like Moto Actions. So can they compete with these people? Because with these two phones that is what Motorola seems to be wanting to do. I am going to give you a little bit of a preview. Great looking fantastic processor, very very good camera, one of them is 108 megapixel, great screen on the phones, very good battery life, 6000 mAh and I'll tell you one thing, they actually do beat those brands. Let's take a look at our review. We'll compare them also to a few phones from those brands. Motorola has done it again. 
The two new G series phones seem like Motorola wants to prove a major point. If you've ever wanted flagship great smartphone features but you're on a serious budget, the new Moto lineup is your answer. Motorola has launched the Moto G60 and the Moto G40 Fusion, two new made for India smartphones that offer incredible value. The Moto G60 is the more powerful of the two phones. With a price of 17,999 rupees, there is a lot that Moto has bundled into this package. It has a big focus on cameras with a large 108 MP primary sensor, which means smartphone photography just got elevated. Thankfully, they haven't only slapped in a megapixel number, they have taken care of all the other things that matter for good photography. With the new ultra pixel technology, the camera sensor captures a lot of light and details which makes shots taken from the G60 look really good. The G60 also features three more lenses with an 8 MP ultra wide lens that also doubles up as a macro shooter, an 8MP macro lens and a 2MP depth camera. Camera performance across the board is really good. What makes the Moto experience richer is the 6.8 inch FHD plus display on the G60 and we were impressed with the color reproduction of the screen. The 120Hz refresh rate on the panel meant that using the phone felt smoother than ever. Another aspect of the G60 that makes this phone buttery smooth is the 6GB RAM and a Qualcomm Snapdragon 732G processor, both of which combine to make this phone power through games, web browsing or basically anything you throw at it. Moto phones are known to have big batteries and the G60 is no stranger to that. It features a massive 6000 mAh battery. This size combined with a frugal processor meant that we didn't have to worry about the phone dying on us anytime during the day and sometimes even way into the second day. So now that we know what the Moto G60 is all about, we know that you want to see how it performs head to head against another leading device in this price range, the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max. The Moto G60 has a bigger footprint with a 6.8 inch display as compared to the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max's 6.67 inch one. There are some similarities in the devices with the same Snapdragon 732G chip powering both these phones. There is a quad camera setup on both with a 108 MP main sensor and an 8 MP ultra wide lens. Photography results on the Motorola were way better and the low light performance as well as dynamic range were also much better. The Moto G60 can capture macro shots as well from the ultra wide lens and it also has an additional 8MP dedicated macro shooter as compared to the 5MP macro lens on the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max. Motorola has also bundled in a bigger 6000mAh battery while the Redmi has a 5220mAh battery. Another big difference is on the software side of things. While both phones ship with Android 11, the Moto G60 has a stock Android offering whereas its Redmi counterpart has a skin on top and all the extra baggage that comes with a Xiaomi phone. While it is clear that the Moto G60 is a way better offering on all fronts, another factor that makes this a sweeter deal is that the Moto G60 retails for 17,999 rupees whereas the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max is sold for 19,999 rupees. And now let's talk about the Moto G40 Fusion. It also comes with a huge 6.8 inch display with a 120Hz refresh rate. While it keeps the same 6000 mAh battery as the G60, it swaps out the 108 MP lens for a 64 MP quad camera setup. At a price of 13,999 rupees, the Moto G40 Fusion also competes with a lot of budget offerings in the market. Pitting it against the Realme 8, the Moto G40 is not only cheaper at 13,999, but it also comes with a Snapdragon 732G chipset. Also, in terms of looks, design, photography, as well as performance, the Moto was the easy winner. The Realme 8 is even priced higher at 14,999 and it ships with a MediaTek Helio G95 processor. With both the new G series phones, Motorola has proved a major point. Xiaomi, Poco and Realme should all be very afraid of this all new Motorola.
Now let's move on to open world games. For those that are not familiar with this, it is an incredible world that you really need to discover. For those that do, we're going to give you the top five open world games to make sure there's lockdown boredom and all this incredible bad news and forever sad news. We open social media and it's always just, you know, really, really bad news. Take a break from some of those. Try out these games. The COVID-19 pandemic is creating havoc in our lives. We hope that our viewers are safe, healthy and more importantly staying at home. Yes, we do understand that staying indoors can get boring sometimes. So we thought why not help you out and share with you the top 5 open world games that will make you forget that boredom. We want to start this list with the amazing spectacular Spider-Man. One of the best superhero games developed in the past few years, Spider-Man is a PlayStation exclusive. Developed by Insomniac, this Spider-Man game gives us a break from our regular lives and injects us with adrenaline as we go for a swinging session across New York. Available on both PS4 and PS5, players get a chance to live Peter Parker's life as we swing around the city and protect residents from the Sinister Six. In the game, New York City is more like a character that helps the player understand the mechanics of being a superhero in the 21st century. Not to mention that this is indeed the most accurate depiction of New York in video games. We get to see New York hotspots like Harlem, the Chrysler Building and even Times Square. Great dialogues, amazing graphics and a wholesome storyline make us feel part of a movie that we can live in. There is a huge arsenal of gadgets that Spider-Man can use to protect New Yorkers from crime lords like Kingpin. What we love most about this video game is that between all of this action, it stays true to Spider-Man's motto that with great power comes great responsibility. The next video game on the list is Assassin's Creed. Yes, we know there are so many of them that even Google finds it difficult to suggest answers. But the game we want to suggest to you today is Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Available on both previous and current generations of Xbox and PlayStation, this video game sets a tone like no other title in the lineup. The setup switches between the modern day Earth and the Golden Age Asgard. Players get to live in this action-packed atmosphere while enjoying one of the best storylines that an Assassin's Creed game has offered in a long time. The next game on the list is perhaps one of the most underrated open world games to ever come out. Again developed by Ubisoft, Watch Dogs still remains one of the most unique games that we've seen in a long while. Set in an alternate timeline's Chicago, this game shows us the darker side of technology. The story follows the life of hacker Adam Pierce who sets out to find the killers of her niece. With a gripping storyline full of emotions, this game makes the player feel connected to the character. From high-tech gadgets to larger-than-life action pieces, Watch Dogs is a complete package. The game's success leads to two additional games in the franchise, Watch Dogs 2 and Watch Dogs Legion, but the original still remains our favourite. The next game on our list was the game of the year 2018. It is Santa Monica Studios' God of War. Our favourite angry god Kratos is back, this time with his son Atreus, or as he likes to call him, Boy. The story is a continuation of the God of War series and picks up from where God of War 3 ended. The setup has changed from Greek mythology to Norse. Kratos is living in the woods and has now raised a family, but things go downhill for the ghost of Sparta when his wife Faye passes away. Before she dies, Kratos promises to take her ashes to the highest mountain in the Nine Realms. The story gets interesting when we learn about how Faye had her own secrets and that Kratos and Atreus are part of a bigger oracle. Unfortunately, God of War is also a PlayStation exclusive. Sorry Xbox folks. And with that we come to the final game on our list. Hint, it was at one point the highest selling game of all time. Yes. We're talking about GTA 5. No open world games list can be complete without mentioning Rockstar Games' Crown Jewel. Introduced in 2013 on the previous gen consoles, the popularity of GTA 5 is still going strong. And why not? It is perhaps the best open world game to be ever developed. There's nothing that you can't do in this game. You can swim, walk, race, play tennis and even take your dog out for a walk. This madness is packed along with an equally amazing storyline. Following the tale of three characters, Trevor, Franklin and Michael, a player gets to see three unique perspectives of the same story. The game is available on PC, previous and current gen consoles. And if we know Rockstar, it should be available on next gen consoles real soon as well. 
That then was the Gadget 360 show for this week. We're really trying very hard to bring you some stuff that actually diverts your attention a little. I know it's very important to actually be aware of what all is going on. But it's also important to take a break because psychologically, if you only hear about everything that is going wrong around you, you will get depressed and it has a huge psychological impact. So take a small break. Come and meet us. We also enjoy coming and bringing all these things to you. And I'll see you next week right here. This is Rajiv Makni saying be safe. Protect everybody, help anybody and everybody that you can. See you next week.